My dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, St. Paul greets his Corinthian community in these words in today's second reading. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. In his greeting, he mentions three persons. God the Son, that is Jesus Christ, God the Father, and God the Holy Spirit. Three persons in one God, and one God in three persons. Today we celebrate the Feast of the Most Holy Trinity. The term Trinity itself is not mentioned anywhere in the Bible. However, Christ in his final instructions to the disciples at Galilee told them, Go into the whole world and baptize them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Matthew 28, 19. Trinity is a profound mystery, perhaps the most sublime in all of Christianity. Hence the Church teaches in the Catechism of the Catholic Church, the mystery of the Most Holy Trinity is a central mystery of Christian faith and life. In the mystery of God, it is the mystery of God himself. It is therefore the source of all the other mysteries of faith, the light that enlightens them. It is the most fundamental and essential teaching in the hierarchy of the truths of faith, Catechism of the Catholic Church 234. God, the first person of the Trinity, is the creator of the universe. Christ, his Son, the second person of the Trinity, has revealed to us that God as the Father of all creation. Christ also announced to us the Paraclete, the Holy Spirit, the third person of the Holy Trinity. Faith in the Blessed Trinity is thus central to the Christian faith, my dear sisters and brothers. As it is impossible to be a Christian and not to believe in the Blessed Trinity. There are many lessons to learn from today's solemnity of the Most Holy Trinity. The first lesson is that God is a community. God is a community based on love. The Father loves the Son and the Son loves the Father. And from their love proceeds the Holy Spirit. The Father and the Son love the Spirit and the Spirit loves both of them in return. Reverend Father Raniero Candelamessa, the preacher to the papal household in Vatican says, Christians believe that God is a triune God because they believe that God is love. The mutual love between the persons of the Holy Trinity is so strong that there is perfect unity and oneness among them. Christ's wish and prayer for us was May they all be one, Father. May they all be one in us, as you are in me and I am in you. John 17, 21. Today, the world is a global village with the advancement in communication media. We can be connected with people anywhere in the world in a matter of just a second. And yet there is a tendency to be in solitary isolationism. We become more and more selfish and work for our own personal gratification. We tend to take advantage of the other people instead of reaching out to them with a helping hand. It is a pity that we do not know the person next door. And sometimes we relate to our own family members only through social media. My dear sisters and brothers, the Feast of the Holy Trinity reminds us that we are not islands. Our God is a Trinitarian God because there is perfect love in God. God is love and God is relationship. 
God is community and God is communion. God is giving and God is sharing. There is a beautiful Celtic prayer that goes like this. O God who sought me, O Son who bought me, O Holy Spirit who taught me. This beautiful prayer, my dear sisters and brothers, expresses the role of the Holy Trinity in our life. The Father who continuously seeks us out of love for us and the Son who bought us with His own blood again out of love for us. The Spirit who teaches us the truth again out of love for us. Let us open ourselves to God the Father so that He may find us. To God the Son so that He may redeem us and to God the Holy Spirit so that He may teach us and sanctify us. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Amen. For further updates, subscribe to our channel and please click on the bell icon. Thanks for watching.